Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to continue with exercise 3.5, question number 2. Okay, Roman 1 first. For which values of A and B? Means we are asked to find A and B so that the following pair of linear equations has an infinite number of solutions. So we have a pair of linear equations. Okay, we need to determine A and B. And the given condition is this given pair of equations has infinite number of solutions. We already know the condition for infinite number of solutions, which we have learned in the previous video. Okay. So and uh, if you are not able to get it then you can uh, search in the YouTube by typing uh, Introduction on Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables by Sandra. Then you can get uh, the video uh, on the introduction about the different kinds of solution for a pair of linear equations in two variables. So we have to find A and B, and the given condition is this pair of linear equations, given pair of linear equations, has infinite number of solutions. So let me write. <laughs> given pair, given pair of equations are 2x plus 3y equal to 7. That is your first given equation. a minus bx, a plus by equal to 3a plus b minus 2. This is your second given equation. Now, let's write down the coefficient of x, coefficient of y, and the constant term from the first equation, as well as for the second equation. a1, a1 represents coefficient of x in the first equation, which is 2. b1 represents coefficient of y from the first equation, which is 3. C1 represents the constant term from the first equation, 7. Similarly, A2 coefficient of x from the first equation is A minus B. So, A minus B. B2 means coefficient of y in the second equation, which is A plus B. C2 means the constant term, 3A plus B minus 2 from the second equation. Now, it's given given that this pair of equations has infinite solution since <laughs> the given pair of equations has infinite solution as infinite solution therefore therefore all the three ratios a ratio of a1 and a2 will be equal to b1 B2 will be equal to C1. The, all the three ratios will be equal. <laughs> now let us substitute the values. A1 is 2 upon A2 is A minus B. B1 is 3 upon B2 is A plus B. C1 is 7 upon C2 is 3A plus B minus 2. We have three equal ratios. This ratio is equal to this ratio is equal to this ratio. So you can take any two ratios in order to get the value of a and b. I'm going to start with the first ratio and the second ratio. So taking first and second ratio. If we take first and second ratio, 2 by a minus b is equal to 3 upon a plus b. Now we cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we get this implies. 3 times, 3 times of a minus b will be equal to 2 times of a plus b. Now we have 3a minus 3b is equal to 2a plus 2b. 3a. Now we have, from both sides, we have only terms containing a and b. So we can maintain a on one side and b on the other side. 3a. This 2a on the other side, you can transpose it as minus 2. 
2 be on the other side and minus 3b transpose it as plus 3b. So 3a minus 2a, 1a equals to 5b. So a is equal to 5b. So we can make this as another equation, equation number 3. So using the first two ratio, we have not obtained a and b. So we take another two ratio. You can take the first and the third ratio, or you can go for second and the third ratio. So considering second and third equal ratios, second ratio, 3 upon a plus b, third ratio, 7 upon 3a plus b minus 2, and we cross multiply. 3 times of 3a plus b minus 2 equals 7 times of a plus b, right? So this implies 9a plus 3b minus 6 is equal to 7a plus 7b. Now we do not have only the terms containing a and b, but we have the constant term as well. So the terms containing a and b can be transposed, can be maintained on one side and the constant term on the other side. That would be easier to find a and b. So 9a plus 3b. Minus 7a, minus 7b equal to plus, minus 6 gets transposed as plus 6, whereas 7a gets transposed as minus 7a, 7b gets transposed as minus 7b. 9a minus 7a gives you 2a, 3b minus 7b gives you minus 4b equal to 6. Now we know a, we know a. The value of a obtained in terms of b is 5b from equation 3. So in this particular above equation, 2 times a we can substitute as 5b. And then minus 4b is 6. That is, I'm using, using equation 3. 2 times 5b is 10b, and then minus 4b is equal to 6. 10 minus 4, 6b is equal to 6. So that gives you b as 6 upon 6, that is 1. So the value of b has been obtained which is equal to 1, and then we can find A now by using equation 3. Therefore, finally, from equation 3, from equation 3, from equation 3, equation 3 we have A equals to 5 times B. This implies A equals to 5 times B, B is 1, so this implies A equals to 5. So the required values of A is 5 and B is 1. Now we proceed with Roman 2. Okay, Roman 2. Question number 2, Roman 2. We have, in question number 2, we have Roman 1 and Roman 2. So Roman 1 has been done. So we'll go for the second one, Roman 2. In Roman 2, the question says, for what value of k, for what value of k means we have to find k, the given pair of linear equations has no solution. We have no solution now. So the given equations are 3x plus y equal to 1. I'm just going to write the start the solution. Given equations are 3x plus y equal to 1. 3x plus y equal to 1. That is your first equation. In the second equation, 2k minus 1, x. 2k minus 1, x. Plus k minus 1, y. Plus k minus 1 and y. Equal to 2k plus 1. Equal to 2k plus 1, equation number 2. So these are the given pair of equations. This is your given pair of equations. We need to determine k. And the given condition is that this given equation has no solution. Now here, a1 coefficient of x in the first equation is 3. b1 coefficient of y in the second equation will be 1. And c1 constant term is 1 again. 
a2 coefficient of x in the first equation is in the second equation is 2 a minus 1 b2 coefficient of y in the second equation is k minus 1 the constant term being 2k plus 1 from the second equation now we need to find k we need to determine k and it is given that the system of equations the following pair of equations has no solution since the given pair of equations has no solution has no solution no solution means a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but it will not be equal with the third ratio that is c1 upon c2 now we substitute the values a1 is 3 a2 is 2k minus 1 b1 is 1 b2 is k minus 1 is not equal to 1 upon 2k plus 1 now we have two equal ratio and the third ratio is not equal to the first two so what we can do is we leave out the third ratio and we cross multiply the first two ratios so taking first and second ratio we do not take the third ratio here because the third ratio is given to be not equal to the first two ratios so the first ratio is 3 upon 2k minus 1 equal to 1 upon k minus 1 now we cross multiply simply 3 times of k minus 1 is equal to 2k minus 1 times 1 is 2k minus 1 3k minus 3 1 times is 3 equals to 2k minus 1 in order to find k we need to okay transpose k that is on the right side to the left side so 3k and then you transpose this positive 2k as minus 2k so minus 1 on the other side and minus 3 gets transposed as plus 3 so 3k minus 2k 1k or simply k equals to minus 1 plus 3 therefore the required value of k is 2 that completes question number 2 and number 2